It's Beard O'Clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ironside Brewing Company and it's a can of their 5150 IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV and an amazing 95 IBUs. What I really like about this can is the design on the label. Look at that, it's a skeleton there with a cowboy hat. And he's got a, he's holding a, a pickled human head. And it's got all killer, no filter. So what we have here potentially is one of these lovely new world hazy IPAs that are coming out of America. Um, let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Yeah, look at that. Mind you, they said no filter. I'm gonna let that calm down a little bit. It might be. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe it it's just a really well made beer. I mean, it's. I'm trying to see a bit of a haze there. There's little bits and pieces floating around in the glass. I'm not sure if you can see that. But to me, for an unfiltered beer, that is pretty darn impressive. Golden Amber Coloured Ale, crystal clear for an unfiltered beer. Uh, white two finger head, let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, and it's big and bold and hoppy. It's quite, it's a little bit of sweetness coming up front. It's quite malty, biscuity, bready, but there's a menacing, lurking hop aroma in there that you can almost smell that sticky, resinous, 95 IBU kind of bitterness just lurking around in that aroma. I'm going to have to dive in. Cheers everyone. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. And I'm picking up <clears throat> Yeah, I'm picking up a malty, biscuity, bready IPA, um, which is slightly sweet and then nicely bittered on the back end. But, right, let's get the rest, let, let me get the rest of this can in the glass a moment. I wanna see if it's it. Uh, it's not hazy at all, is it? Well, there's, there's a little bit of something going on there. Um, I'm looking for a date. Blimey. That was canned. And bear in mind, we are in September. September the 13th, 14th, something like that. It's, it's iPhone release day. So I don't know where we are, maybe the 18th, Friday the 18th, I don't know. Um, this can is the 6th of the 8th, 2016. So it's just over a month old when it was canned. And to be honest, I'm a little, I'm, well, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm, well, to be perfectly honest, I'm quite disappointed. Um, I've seen this on the shelf. I bought this in the bottle shop uh, yesterday and I've seen 95 IBUs. I do like my big, bold, bloody poppy beers. I'm gonna, let's, let's just carry on drinking for a moment. Ah, 
Pick up a little bit of mango, a little bit of citrus. It's malty, it's bready. But I just, for the love of me, I'm, I'm trying to find the 95 IBUs. It's clearly put on the can. It's very clearly put on there, I'm showing you. But this for me is no more than 30 IBUs. I've drunk some big hoppy beers in my time that have completely ripped my palate to shreds. This is tame. This is really, really bloody tame. And I'm really, really disappointed, to be honest. And they've also put no filter as well. So you, you almost kind of looking for that hazy IPA and I, I'm, it, to be honest, it's quite clear. I do like that, I gotta be honest, I do like that carbonation rolling and chasing the head of the glass. But that's the only thing that this beer's got going for it, I think. And that's its look. The can, as I mentioned earlier, looks bloody great. I love that. It stood out. I had, I stood yesterday in the bottle shop in front of probably two to three hundred beers. And this one stood out. And I'm a bit annoyed that I've actually picked this up now because that has done absolutely nothing for me. I don't know. Brewed and canned by Ironside Brewing Company. Uh, Iron... Ironside, one not we? Iron Fire. Iron Fire Brewing Company. Uh, Ironfirebrewing.com if you want to check them out. Uh, Tem... Temsella, California. Uh, the right mix of crazy and stupid allows us to brew 5150 with this insane amount of hops. That's, that's there for you guys to read if you want to read that, but unless I've had a dodgy batch, there's no insane amount of hops in this beer. And the fact that it's as fresh as a daisy as well, um, really is quite annoying. Really is quite annoying. One more taste. Let me try my best to describe this beer. I'm, I'm so disappointed. It's malty, it's malty, it's malty. It's biscuity. Uh, there's some grapefruit, there's some mango, and there's a, a touch, a touch. And I mean this, a touch of bitterness on the back end. That is one of the most disappointing American beers I've ever had on the channel. Maybe even the most disappointing American beer I've had on the channel. I will send it to these guys on Facebook and Twitter and see what they think. Um, I'd like to get some kind of response for them as to why they've put 95 IBUs and they've called it insane and crazy amount of hops they put in the beer um, They called it the mix of crazy and stupid allows us to brew With this insane amount of hops. I, I think well I Don't know. I think Marston's in the UK put more hops in their beer um, Thanks for watching. I'm gonna rate it Utterly I can't tell you how disappointed I am with this beer. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10 3 out of 10 um, thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.